So, what if you want to try something a bit more complicated? What if you want to have not just individual variables, say for example you want a variable for your health, but the variable for your ammo and max ammo and your weapon and all that sort of stuff. What if you want a list of variables? Well, this is where arrays come in handy. An array is basically a list of variables. So, what we can do is, say if, for example, we want an item list like in an RPG. So, you've got your list of items, you've got portions, recovery items, your life potions that bring them back to life, you've got items that can be used to hurt enemies, you've got items that can be used to find treasure, you've got all sorts of different items. You can't just have a big list of stuff. Now granted when, when I did weapon here before I made sure that it was simple and I only made three but sometimes things can be a bit more complicated than that because you won't just have one item the whole time. You won't just have a portion and then you won't just and then you won't just switch to an ether and then not have the portion anymore. It usually doesn't work like that. Usually you'll have say like twelve portions and five ethers and so much of another item and then you use one item and that goes down by one and it's it's a lot different to just having like a weapon equipped, for example. So what we'll do is we'll have a list of items so but we need to make sure that there's different things for the items. So first of all, we'll have variable item name. So, and what we'll do is we produce square brackets and then we put a number in them in between those square brackets. And what that's saying is that the first variable of the item list name equals, and we'll give it a name, we'll call it portion. And we can make another one, item name 2 equals and we can call that ether and just make one more for now item name the third one is equal to let's call it antidote if I can spell right we've got portion, ether and antidote now we might have you might have a game with hundreds of items or even tens of items. Now, so you've got the variable to determine their names. And so now if we think about the variable to determine how much you start with and how much you have. Now let's say you start the game with no items, what are, no items whatsoever. So let's make a new variable, their item amount, and then we'll, we'll have of the array of number one. So this is the first item in the list. And we'll make that equal to zero. And then we can have their item amount two and that equals to zero. So you start off with no portions and no others. And just to make it absolutely clear, these numbers here um, there is no link at the moment between the first item name and the first item amount. You will have to make that link, but by making them the same numbers, it's a lot easier later on to make that connection.